mapping WA's COVID spread, block by block, suburb by suburb. Florida seems to be an absolute hotspot. A joint project between Curtin University and Telethon Kids Institute. It identifies current COVID hotspots and models how Omicron will move through the state. Using data from the Census, Department of Health and Google, it analyses how West Australians live their lives, travel and who they interact with. So we've built the most detailed model that's ever been built for this state. Um, we've really gone the extra mile to make the most realistic representation of the population that we can. The model also looks at what would happen if the mask mandate was removed in all settings except for hospitals and aged care. Under that scenario, there would be an extra 150,000 infections. That's a 15% increase. And another 100 people would die. Business groups, including the Property Council and the Chamber of Commerce, say that masks are stopping city workers from returning to the office which is having a huge impact on CBD businesses that rely on their trade. But the new modelling suggests that ditching masks in the office would be premature. Now is the worst possible time to remove them because we're at the maximum level of infection in the community. So obviously it's the highest risk of transmission. So we want to keep every, every protective measure we can in place. But he says there will be a point where other considerations outweigh the health impacts of removing masks. The Premier is reluctant to say when that tipping point will come. I know everyone wants us to be definitive at every point in time, but what you find is if you are too definitive too early and circumstances change, then you have to change your position and people get upset by that. In some good news, random door-to-door -door testing for the virus didn't pick up a single case of COVID in the 400 people sampled, dispelling fears of widespread undetected community transmission. What that indicates is our rat testing regime and our PCR testing regime is working. The modelling shows that testing is likely to detect at least 5,000 daily cases until mid-May. James Carmody, ABC News.